the life of a mega nerd, baby. We doing things and we making it happen, right? From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes, no one can stop us now, cause we're keeping it nerdy, nice. What's up guys, this is Chris of Sage Films, uh, and this is what we're going to be making today. What's up YouTube, this is Chris of Sage Films, uh, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make an explosion effect in Sony Vegas 8 or 9. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you're going to need to download the file in the, with the link in the description, which is an explosion like kit that I've created. Uh, so just go ahead and right click this, go to extract here, and I'll extract it straight to your desktop. And this kit comes with the video of the explosion, an image, and the sound effect. So let's just go ahead and drag all this into our Sony Vegas. Here we go. Okay, now that we've got all this, we're going to go ahead and drag down our explosion video and drag down our image underneath. And uh, I got this uh, video from Detonation Films, which is a really good website to go to, detonationfilms.com, to get all these awesome explosion videos, fireballs, anything you really need. Let's go ahead, jump ahead about, about seven keyframes, I'd say, because it'll get past the logo. around 10 keyframes. Let's go ahead and just like make sure you have your footage selected. Click S to split. Just delete this logo in the front and just drag this back down and resize your image. Okay now we basically do not want it to explode as soon as the image comes up so let's make it about right here and just make the image a little larger longer on the timeline and then what we're going to do is we're going to just play this. And as you can see it's black. It switches to black and has the explosion. We don't want that. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go back, back here, go to the composition settings, and as you can see we can go to screen, which will get rid of the black, but the explosion is really not as bright. So let's not do that. Go back here, you can also go to add, which makes it a little brighter. But still it's not as bright as I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and do my technique on finding how to do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to video effects, chroma key here, bring down blue screen, Click this eyedropper and click the black. As you can see, there we go. You can edit this any way you want. And bring it, I normally bring it about halfway. There we go. Let's watch it now. There we go. It's a little brighter. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to position this where we want it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go forward so you can see the explosion. Go to Event Pan and Crop, and you can see we can just move this around. So if you want it way out in the distance, like right behind this bus out here. There we go. It's behind the bus. And we're going to have to resize it because it's not going to really look as realistic. So we want it behind the bus. As you can see, it's not going behind the bus. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this out. And we're going to go back to our uh, project media and bring down another image and bring it on top of the video. Now basically if you guys know what masking is that's what we're going to do is we're going to mask out what we want in front of the explosion. Let's go here, click mask, zoom in on the area you're going to mask. I want it behind the bus here so I'm not going to get in too detail with this. and close this out and let's go ahead and play it maybe I still have it set and there you go you got it blown up behind that bus it's basically like something's blown up on the other side of the bus okay now for to bring in your explosion effect you just bring this down underneath everything and right here is the explosion as you can see and it gradually fades so you're gonna have to pull this down to about right there and you're gonna find where it explodes which is about right here. Just put it about right here. 
And I don't know if you guys can hear this, but here we go. And there you go. There's the explosion effect in Sony Vegas 8 or 9. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.